What's good, YouTube? That one I to your back again once again. Hey, people, today we're back for episode number 23 of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Let's Play, and the hype just said it again! Oh, I have actually not played this in a couple of days, and uh, I'll explain to you guys a little why, and it's a whole bunch of other behind the scenes shit here in a moment. By the way, in the last episode, you guys, we encountered Steven, went to Southern Island, and we added Latios, aka Dawn, to our team. Well, not added to our team. I asked you guys uh, if we should include Dawn on our team. Or or should we box Nimbus? And a lot of you guys said that we should not add Dawn to our team just for the sake of originality, which you guys already know I'm all down for that. So, unfortunately, Dawn the Latias is going to have to go ahead and reside in the PC for the remainder of this Let's Play. Um, I'm sure that we don't actually need Dawn in our party to use the Soar feature that's in the game. So, unfortunately, Dawn is going to have to chill in the box. It sucks because Dawn is adamant. With the Latias site, which could actually come in handy because, I mean, it, uh, Latias gets Dragon Call and Dragon Dance, but Nimbus is physical as well, and like, like I said, we don't want duplicate typings, we don't need two Dragon types, and we don't need two adamant physical Dragon types either, so we're just going to leave Dawn and let Dawn chill in the PC for now. It sucks because it's a really good Pokemon, but either way, we don't put too much time and too much effort into the Nimbus just to be boxing like that. By the way, let's get a quick party update for you guys as well. Of course, if you guys are hyped for today's episode of Alpha Sapphire, make sure you smash the hell out that like button down below for us. And we didn't have an episode yesterday because yesterday was Thanksgiving and I was off and away with family and all that stuff. But if you're a proud member of the Nappy Nation, make sure you smash that like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. I know the game just came out in Europe today as well. So if you're one of our European viewers and you have the game and you're playing along as well, let me know that you're hyped by destroying that like button down below for us. Why is this so hype right now? We're in episode 23. I'm just <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and get a quick party update for you guys to see where we're chilling at. We have Loud Mouth, our Loud Dude is level 31 with Bite, Echo Voice, Uproar, and Super Sunning, so the Metronome as well. Then we have Rollo, our Mighty Ada, who is on the fence right now. He is really on the fence. He's about to get replaced by whoever we find that can uh, do the job better than he can. Not because he can't dish out the attack, but I mean, look at his stats. His attack is, like, clearly a lot higher than anything else. His defenses are booty, 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 rocking everywhere. So, I don't know. We'll see what ends up happening with Rallo. If we find somebody that does his job just a bit better, then we'll go ahead and scoop them up and put them on the party. But for now, he's chilling with his black glasses, powering up his bite and his assurance, but he's also rocking Hal and Fire Fang, too. Then we have Nimbus, our little side project here, who's level 31, who basically has just three levels to go. It's got 454 experience to get to 32, and then 35, it evolves into the power. Powerful, powerful Altaria, but right now Nimbus is rocking Steel Wing, Disarming Voice, Refresh, and Takedown. Then we have our Metang, our little Event Beldum has evolved into a Metang. He's rocking the Quick Claw, which has popped many a time in Time of Need. But he's level 33 with Bullet Punch, Iron Head, Zen Headbutt, and Iron Defense. And then last but not least, if I'm not mistaken, we have Alex Luis, our little starter, our little Marsh Stomp. Look at his face, he's just so out of place. But he's rocking the Expert Belt, which powers up all his super effective moves. But he has Rock Slide, Protect, Surf, and Dig. Nice and surf and dig. And last but not least, we have an egg, which, if I'm not mistaken, ends up being a, a why not, I think. I'm pretty sure it is or something like that. I don't, I don't know. Anyways, we need to get up out of Marvel City. I know we've been chilling here for a while now. Before we leave, let me double check to make sure that we have... We have plenty of super repels. Okay, I was just checking because I know we're about to get into some routes and whatnot, and I'm not trying to deal with every single little wild Pokemon that pops up. Honestly, I think the super repel is one of the best items they've ever put in the goddamn game. <laughs> just throwing that out there for you. But, uh, like I said, I have not actually touched uh, Alpha Sapphire in a couple days. Yesterday was Thanksgiving, and I hope all of you that are in the U.S. that celebrate Thanksgiving uh, had a great Thanksgiving yesterday. I can tell you I did. And I can tell you, after I'm done with this little recording or recording session, whatever I decide to do, I'm heading right into the kitchen and get me a whole another plate of food because I'm fat and I love it. <laughs> Stop. So yeah, so I had a great Thanksgiving. I had a lot of family come out, and I just had it was just a ton of fun. And I knew yesterday morning when I sat down on my computer, I was not going to get the chance to get any type of work done that day. So I just I tweeted out. I was like, look. I'm sorry you guys, we're not going to have any videos today, it's Thanksgiving, I'm gone. And I was literally gone all day. Plus side of things though, um, I've never done any Black Friday shopping before, uh, but yesterday I went with my brother uh, down to Walmart, just because he wanted to get a whole bunch of stuff, and my car is the only one that can fit a whole bunch of shit in it. Oh wait, I thought I thought I had Swablu for a minute, I looked at the moveset and I was like, why is Takedown not here, what is going on? 
But uh, my car was the only one that could fit the stuff he wanted to buy because he wanted to get a few TVs and whatnot on sale. So I've never done Black Friday shopping before. I never had any sort of reasoning to do Black Friday shopping. Loud mouth, eat it up, eat it up, eat it up. So I went down there and somehow I walked out with a 50 inch TV. <laughs> Don't ask me how. Uh, one way or another, they ended up getting an extra voucher for one of the TVs that was on sale there. So I said, fuck it. I'll buy it. So I got a 50 inch TV for $220. So it was a good steal. It was a good steal. But I don't know. I'm probably going to end up putting it in the bedroom. And what I'll probably end up doing with it is right now I have a TV and a separate monitor because I have my old computer in there. In case, like, I just don't want to be on this work computer and do a whole bunch of stuff. I can still be on Skype or I can still check out stuff on there. So I think I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the TV and the other monitor that's in there and put the 50 inch in there. And just use the different HDMI ports for different things. Because cable runs through HDMI in my house. And then uh, HDMI will have to go. No, you're not learning Roar. HDMI will um, run from the PC to the screen. So it would just be an all-purpose TV. But it's 50 inches. So I don't know. Like I said, I've never done Black Friday shopping before. But I still had a ton of fun going out uh, with family and looking at a whole bunch of stuff. I feel like I should get that item right now before I forget. Oh, god damn it. There's a trainer right there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Shit! You son of a bitch! You weren't even looking at me! <sighs> anyways, anyways, anyways. I also mentioned that I haven't played this in a couple days. I think it's been since either Monday or Tuesday? I want to say Monday. Was it Monday? Has it really been that long? It's been a few days since I've played Alpha Sapphire, and the reason for that is, and some of you guys put two and two together, a few of you other guys just let it hurt your head and you couldn't figure it out. But um, a lot of you guys knew that on Tuesday we started our first Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire free for all session. But you guys didn't see me get the Mega Bangle until Wednesday. What is that? What move did he just use? I didn't even catch that. So those of you that were able to put two and two together and figure it out realized that I went ahead and bulk recorded and played ahead. The reason for that was so that I could get the Mega Bangle from Steven so I could participate in the free for alls. And actually Mega Evolve my Pokemon. Because, I mean, there's no point in having an Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire free for all if I can't even use an Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Mega Evolution. You know what I mean? It's just a Hyper Potion. So I went ahead and played ahead up until the Steven part, and I guess it was two days worth of episodes that I had recorded. I didn't think it was that many. What up, baby girl? Why do so many people want to battle? My goodness. My goodness. Uh, what I'm going to... It's Delinquent Miley. Game Freak, what are you trying to say here, bruh? <laughs> what are you trying to say here, bruh? Delinquent Miley. Um, so yeah, so it was just, it was just, uh, I played ahead by a few episodes. So I could have the Mega Bang, middle of the Mega Bangle, so I could participate in the Free For All session. And actually be able to use Mega Swampert. The Mega Swampert I used wasn't even mine, it was Callum's. He sent me a, a Swampert with the Swampert Knight just so I could use it. Because Mega Swampert is amazing! He's amazing! I can't wait till Alex Luis evolves. I cannot wait, I cannot wait. I'm gonna flip shit when he does, cause I get, I, it's still to a point in the game where it's still so new to me that I still get hyped. Loud, look at loud mouth, juking and firing and dodging him attacks. Fuck your swagger, mighty Ana. But it's still early enough in the game for me, so that all, a lot of this stuff is still new, so when I see it, I still flip out, like Mega Salamence. Mega Salamence, he flies so high on the field, he's like so much higher, like your Pokemon's standing here and he's like up here just flying around. And you're like, what the fuck? By the way, loud mouth 33. I'm going to try and um, train the team in sets of 5, so when we get to 35, we'll switch over to somebody else. Probably, I ain't worried about y'all. Probably Nimbus next. Uh, the only reason I came down here is because I heard from a little birdie, there's a TM down here that we need to scoop up. Why does she want to battle? Lord, everybody wants to battle. Everybody wants to battle. Oh my gosh, she's got a vile plume. My goal for today's episode was to get to the Weather Institute, and hopefully we can make that happen. Hopefully we can make that happen, man. Oh my god, it's Vile Plume's level 36. Uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, Metang. Hello, hello. Metang come through. Metang come through. Metang come through. And Sadie's the back here. Can you sit down? Can you stop jumping around, please? Please, please and thank you. Please and thank you. Uh, I also know that uh, we have a, a pending Wi-Fi battle to take care of, but I don't know 
I'm gonna have to look around. I'm gonna have to look high and look low to find somebody that is uh, at the at about the same level we are to see who we can battle. Because we didn't get a battle for Norman's gym, so we have to wait and see what we can end up doing with that. Um, I think we have a battle set up for Winona's gym. I don't. I hope we do. My lord, that would suck. Everybody else just like sped through the game. Like, they just got the game and just went on, like, a six-hour recording spree, and I'm just like, I don't, I don't know how y'all do that. I just rec I'm gonna say, please don't... No, you don't need another repel right now. Please don't battle me. I don't want to battle everybody. What is up here? This wasn't in the in the original game, this separate area. With the, uh, steps and all this shit. And, I mean, goddamn, don't mind if I do. I will take all these motherfucking berries. A lot of you guys were talking about, um... I'm, I'm more than certain that all these berries are gonna be for contests. But a lot of you guys were saying that I gotta feed my, my Pokemon... My Poke... I almost said Poke Sweet. All my Pokemons! Um... Different berries to help them increase their stats for competitions or contests or whatever. Give me all the berries, yo. Give me all the berries. All the berries. All the berries. So, I don't know, I might end up doing that and looking into that a little bit off-screen. Um, I know a lot of you guys have been asking about, uh, this is like one gigantic update <laughs> video because we haven't had an episode in a few days. Uh, I know a lot of you guys have been asking about secret bases as well. I've had so many people on Twitter saying, Nappy, what's your secret base? Where's it at? Yada, 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 yada. I have not went and set it up yet. Literally everything that I've done in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, you guys have seen on screen in this Let's Play. So what I think I'm probably going to end up doing is a little later on in the game, I'll probably end up having an episode of the Let's Play. Like, I'll go ahead and call it a full-fledged episode, where it's just all... It's, it's going to be a live stream, and it's just all about that base. <laughs> all about that base, about that base, no trouble. It's gonna be all about secret bases, and we're gonna build secret base. And if you guys know where any like items for bases are at or anything like that, the fuck? <coughs> I thought I saw something there for a second, but I guess I didn't see nothing. I guess I didn't see nothing. I know um, there was actually another mega stone that we need to scoop up. Um. No, 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 I don't want to plant a berry. Fuck the earth, nigga. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure, uh, I'm pretty sure this is where you get the Obama site at, now that I think, think about it. Isn't it right here? But it's not here for us, I think it might be post-game. Um, so I was in a call with Nick, hashtag sacred, and I think I saw him, he was getting over here, and Kristen said that the Houndoomite was in Lava Ridge Town, but I know she hadn't beaten the game yet, and I know we haven't beaten the game either. Sadie, what are you doing? Can you stop making all this noise? God damn. And I know we didn't scoop up no Houndoomite in Lava Ridge Town, so I might have to, once we get fly, I might have to take a trip back there. Take a trip. And see if it's back there or not. And we have been picking berries for like the last five goddamn minutes. Oh my god. How many more berries can we pick? Oh my god. <laughs> it's the Roselli Berry. Isn't that the one that Scrafty needs to take a, a fairy type it? <laughs> I have to ask Callum about that. Because I'm pretty sure that's what he was saying he was going to use in in our verses uh, a year ago in X and Y. When we did the mascot solo run verses. I think he was saying he was going to use the Roselli Berry in the fairy type gym. But he didn't get the Roselli Berry yet or some shit like that. And actually, as a matter of fact, that's, that's the same reason that we're down here now. Because I'm sure it's no secret to a lot of you guys. We were talking about possibly doing another solo run versus with our mascots for a Mega Ruby Battle Sapphire. And if that is the case, there is one TM that we specifically need. Hello. Take as many as you like, they'll grow more berries. So we just emptied her out for no goddamn reason. There's one TM that we specifically need down here. And the thing is, I'm just trying to find the chick that gives it to us. Cressetia. In the Sinnoh region, it's Gracedia, my bad. People give a bouquet of Gracedia to convey their gratitude. It's a very old custom. Don't tell me this is where you're going to get it from. A Magos berry. A Rabuda berry. Not bad. I see you, big dog. I see you, big dog! Something battle? What? No. No, I'm good. Please any response of some kind. What the hell? Let's just call it a berry battle. How's that? 
quite remarkable. Cherry berry. So this episode is all about goddamn cherries. I mean berries. The hell? This is a cherry berry. We've been nothing but berries all episodes so far. Is this a chick? Hey, hey! Fairy types are sure enough cute, but they can be strong too. I bet you already know that, eh? There we go. 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 There's no fairy gem in Hoenn, eh? Maybe I'll just show sure go ahead and make one before Miss Valerie even gets here. Miss Valerie? Really? Really? You gonna call her out by her name like that? Reason I wanna go get that. Oh my god. They're down here. Fuck it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's just clear out this bottom route to the best of our extent. <laughs> Let's clear out this bottom route so when we come south from Mount Pyre, I'll know. Once you jump up the last ledge, we're clear. I don't have to worry about anything else. But the reason I wanted to get that is because, like I said, when we uh, go to do our... Oh god, I hope Upward doesn't hit me. When we go to do our um, versus solo run, since I'm going to be using Gengar, there is one part of this game that is going to be a very large pain in the ass. Bug Buzz against the Dark Type! I don't know why I didn't think of that! There's going to be one very, very, very large pain in the ass. And if you guys remember, um, Sydney, the Elite Four member, the first one, is a pure Dark Type trainer. And I don't know about you guys, but unless I get like a TM for Focus Blast or Dazzling Gleam, I'm 100% shit out of luck against him. Really? What are you doing? Nimbus? Okay, you can drag out a flying type. I don't give a damn. What are we going to bring out next? You part poison, right? Part poison, right? So against Sydney, I am 100% screwed. I need to find something, somehow, some way to go ahead and body Sydney. And I was looking around, and I was like, okay, if worse comes to worse, maybe if I can get my hands on Sludge Bomb, that might be a good thing, because he doesn't get it by level up. Nope. You don't get Sludge Bomb until post-game with Mega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. And even then, it's back in Doofer Town. So then I'm like, okay, Focus Blast. I don't know where the hell you get Focus Blast on top of my head. And then I was like, okay, well, what about Dazzling Gleam? So I can at least use a Fairy-type attack on the Dark Types. And sure enough, you can get Dazzling Gleam right here before you even get to Sydney. So, I don't know what our moveset is going to look like total for the Gengar, but I know for a fact we're going to have Shadow Punch, and not Shadow Punch, my lord, sort of an anime Gengar, are going to have su that sucker, god damn it, Shadow Ball is what I'm talking about, Shadow Ball and Dazzling Gleam. So, that's all I got so far, I'll have to keep working on that before Calum and I sit down to record that. I have no idea when it's going to be started, I already know someone's going to ask that as well. When are you guys going to start this, um, uh, versus, um, uh? god damn it, there's an item there. When are you guys gonna gonna do this? Do uh, you have any idea? What am I sir? Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball, Ultra Ball. By the way, I'm still bound and determined to get over to uh whatchamacallit? The Weather Institute right now. And we can't get through the Oh, we can ride our bike to the grass. What the hell? Um, I'll probably end up coming back through here before we take on Winona and clearing out a whole bunch of stuff. I can't ride through the grass. I thought you couldn't ride through the grass. That's why homeboy the bike is right there. Whatever. Let him let him be stuck in the grass right there. I'm just gonna keep going. I'm just gonna keep going. And I don't know exactly what all Pokemon I want as the final member on our team. I think I'm just gonna wait until we hatch this last egg. Oh god. You son of a why is it that you turn around, you happen to turn around right as I ride past you, and did you guys hear that thunder just now, too? Did you guys hear that thunder that was in-game just now, too? That was sick as fuck. Okay, so it's a fighting type against a normal type. Uh, I wonder how this is gonna pan out. That's supersonic him. That's supersonic him. Make him hurt himself in confusion. You bitch, nigga. You bitch, nigga. Oh god, hurt yourself, hurt yourself, hurt yourself. Hey, hey, hey. I'm actually gonna swap out. Because I don't want anything to have in a loud mouth just yet. Come on out, Nimbus. Come on out, Nimbus. You're three levels from evolving, Nimbus. Just do it! It'd be so much better if you just evolve. Just evolve, Nimbus. Just evolve. Just do and it snaps out of confusion. Mock punch. Haha! <laughs> Eat it up. Oh my god, it did so much more than I wanted it to. We can disarm the hell out of your voice. Faint? Isn't that a dark type? I'm not fairy type yet, so stop it. That was a crit. Holy shit. Watch this do nothing. Not a goddamn thing. He's gonna hit me one more time. One more time, real good. Force palm up. Oh, that's a dead Nimbus. I forget he's part normal. I keep thinking he's just flying. I know he's not dragging yet. 
Oh my god. This is not good. Back to Med Tang we fall upon. Because <laughs> everybody else just gets body. I need some Pokemon to evolve. That's what I need the most. We gotta find a suitable replacement for Rallo. And the quick call pops! Let's go! We need a suitable replacement for Rallo. And we need Nimbus to evolve so he can start to hold its own a little bit more than it is right now. That's really the biggest ordeal that we're having with our party. I mean, my goodness. My goodness, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. I mean, we still have Loudmouth up front. So I guess that's fine for now. Rallo and Nimbus have already fainted, so all we have is Medtang and Alex Luis. And Medtang's almost level 35 as it is, so... I don't know, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. You hear that thunder? Can we heal here? Is this a rest house? Please tell me this is a rest house. Hey! I thought we were gonna have to go all the way to the Weather Institute before we got the rest. Oh my goodness, that would've sucked! That would've been so bad. Cave of Origin. Someone's been telling, telling you tall tales, girl. Because I don't know no such thing as a motherfucking cave of origin. First of all, I know there's a crazy cat lady, but are you like a crazy wingle lady? Crazy wingle lady with all your wingles? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I scared it off. Oh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Where is it at? Let's see what we have here. Tiptoeing in my jardins. Number, number. Oh, it's a Kecleon. Should we even bother with a Kecleon? <laughs> Should we even bother with a Kecleon at this point? I, I don't know if it's... Uh, if you had a blue stripe across your stomach, maybe. I'd think about it, bitch nigga. Okay, I'm gonna go for a powerful bite and see what we can do. As long as this dude doesn't get bodied, I'm sure I'm down for, 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 for catching it. Nice and flinched and couldn't move. Nice and flinched and couldn't move. I should change it to a normal type. Fucking shit up. Flinch, bitch! Oh god! Why do you have Psybeam? Turn down! And my computer monitors go off! Stop! Oh my lord, it's so annoying. My computer monitors will sit here for nine years and never go to sleep. And then while I'm in the middle of recording, they'll go to sleep. And it's like, are you kidding me? Come on, yo. Come on, yo! Jesus Christ, this Kecleon's moveset. Can you stop? Can you turn down? You don't need side beam and ancient power. God damn. Uh, stop it. Stop it, little Kecleon. Stop it, little Kecleon. It's not that serious. Okay. 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 Stay in the ball. Fate attack too. Oh my god. Whoa! Why did he get so goddamn close with that? Let's go ahead and use our Ultra Ball on him. Because obviously he's special. He's all that in a bag of potato chips and he doesn't want to just be caught on his own. He's a goddamn. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. The ball changes colors with you. Hey! He just needed to hear what he needed to hear. That's all. That's all. The question is what are we going to nickname him though? Or is it a her? I don't remember. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Register the data. It's male. So what are we going to nickname a male Kecleon? Kecleon alters its body coloration to blend in with its surroundings, allowing it to sneak up on its prey unnoticed. Then it lashes out with its long, stretchy tongue to instantly ensnare the suspecting target. Hmm. What are we going to nickname our Kecleon? What are we going to nickname our Kecleon? I think I want to nickname him... Binks. Like Jar Jar Binks. Just because it reminds me of him. I don't know why. Binks has been transferred. I feel like that fits him though. Is that how you spell Binks from Jar Jar Binks? I feel like there's like two K's or some crazy ass spelling like that. I don't know. But either way, we got Binks. Binks in the box. Binks in the box. Binks in the box. I still want to get up to the Weather Institute. Let me go! Just let me be. 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 Can I switch my... Please? Please? Thank you? No, no, you know what? Let's go back. Let's go back to the other one. And let's get about. Repellent effect war up. Yeah, might as well. Might as well. And what the hell is what the hell is this kid doing? Please don't tell me you have to fight them. Ah! ah I got past you, you, sneaky bitch. I'm the sneaky bitch here. Are you kidding me? Oh, goddamn. Ugh! Oh. 
Oh, we're juking and vibing. We're juking and vibing. Oh, excuse me. Wait, 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 wait. Dude, we can get around this, right? Because I have the acro bike right now. Okay, I was about to say. If I remember correctly, we can still get around it. Shit! Why are you standing right there like that? Like, where, where in trainer school does it say, make sure you stand in the most annoying spot that you possibly can, so that when you're off screen, the other person rolls up, they don't see you. Come on now. Come on, man. Come on, you're not playing fairly. You're not playing very fairly, and I don't appreciate it. But hopefully with this swallow, we should actually hit level 35 with Loudmouth. Loudmouth hits level 35. Loudmouth hits level 35. And my lord, that swallow got bodied. Loudmouth put another with the finest of work. You can, you can eat up the area lace, can't you, Loudmouth? A body that swallow. Body, bitch. Body, bitch. No, I don't know karate, bitch. Karate, bitch. Nice and 35. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, that's two Pokemon that are at level 35 in our party. Because isn't uh, Metane level 35 right now? Is it Metane level 35? If I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, mate! No, he's level 34. Oh, god damn it. Uh, I think we should leave with Rollo, to be honest. And get him caught up. And then Nimbus, and then Alex Luis. And get everyone caught up and on par with everybody else in the party. I ain't worried about your little sneaky ass. And here we finally made it to the Weather Institute! Yes! So we're gonna go ahead and wrap up today's episode right here, because obviously we can't proceed on any further. And the next episode, we will go ahead and enter the Weather Institute and whoop Team Aqua's ass, because they have to know goddamn good. And does Weather Institute not look badass as a motherfucker? Goddamn. Anyways, thank you all so much for checking out today's episode. I know it's been a few days since we've had one. And uh, I know today's episode was really just a lot of just routes getting up here. But it's a big route, okay? It's a big route. By the way, a lot of shit should go down in the next episode. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode, and of course, we are a proud member of the Nappy Nation, make sure you smash that like button down below for us. If you have a friend or two who's not a member of the Nappy Nation and you think they'd be at home here with us, share the video with them as well or link them episode one of the series. But with that, I'm going to get about. Thank you all so, so much for your support, and thank you for checking out the video. You know me, YouTube, Apple 92. Uh -huh, I'm out.